Update 7.8 has Ephemera 8 Divine Codes to earn and a new set of common manuals. Today we'll talk about what's on offer for this month. For the 5 star common manuals, these cost 100 Ephemera each. First up is Pirate Surter who has some fun skills. For your army units, you can get Crafty Fighter 3, which is the quicker post skill with Guard. If you use Valentine's Lissa or Vigard, you can get the first three tiers of the original Ideal, and you can get the tier four at the same time. May as well, although Ideal skills are pure stats and do require buffs to activate if you fall under full health. If you just want the tier four Ideal skill, you can save some feathers by taking Divinity Ideal one and two from Lissa or Vigard at four stars. Pick up the rest from Surter, and you can get Bonfire as well. Next up, we have Pirate to Barn. Heavy Blade Four and Dive Bomb are both pretty rare. Heavy Blade 4 simply adds 5 true damage on hit with the Heavy Blade cooldown and with the much larger variety of stat boosts and sacred seals, it's an okay option if you're going to run the Heavy Blade seal anyway. As for Dive Bomb, it gives you desperation if the fuser and foe are both above 80% HP, it is only for melee flyers. Fun for instant quad attacking. However, Desperation Form just dropped and that can also work at full health if you move two spaces. Dive Bomb won't work if the user or enemy drop under 80%. Desperation 4 will work at anything under 4 HP for the user. You then have Flow Desperation, also works at 4 HP but comes with offense in a follow-up. Tabarn and Dragons can't run that skill though, so yeah. I don't feel like free Dive Bomb coming at the same time as two new Desperation skills is a coincidence. Maybe we'll get a tier 4 one day though. Now if you can't afford the fancy new Flow Desperation or have a Beast or Dragon, you can run Dive Bomb with Soaring Guidance Support that can replicate similar effects. If you want to mess around, you can get Heavy Blade 3 from Jomkin, who's a heroic growl unit, then grab Heavy Blade 4 and Dive Bomb 3 from Tabarn. If you don't need Heavy Blade, Gale Force of Dive Bomb is fine. You can also do all four tiers of Heavy Blade. Tax Smoke is probably the least valuable skill here, unless you absolutely need it right now. Overall, the 5 star manuals are interesting this month. If you need the skills, Tabarn selection is quite rare. I believe Dive Bomb is in the normal Divine Coach shop. Same for Crafty Fighter from Surter, but that's still a really solid Armor B skill. Moving on to the 4 star con manuals, these cost 100 ephemera each. Our returning Tempest Trials unit is Valentine's Effie. At 4 stars you can get Smite and Tank Speed Push 3. At 5 stars, Infantry Flash 3 is quite rare. It grants Infantry Allies within 2 spaces, Flashing Blade. Effie's weapon is the Petal Fall Base Plus. If above 25% HP, grants plus 5 attack at speed. If you outspeed, you get full no follow up and you also deal 5 tree damage on hit. Honestly, a rather impressive inheritable axe. We may get an arcane axe for faster builds eventually, but if you don't think arcane downfall fits your faster axe user, this is a great free to play option. No fault for flyers and cavaliers is also quite nice. Now, our latest demoted unit coming back is Philo. At 4 stars, he has Iceberg and Brazen Tech and Res 3. Brazen's never really caught on in that A slot. At 5 stars, you can get the niche and rare Pegasus Flight 3. You need specific stats to run Pegasus Flight, but we got a couple Pegasus Flight 4 users this year, so this is one way to upgrade to those if you can. Philo's weapon is the Rain Lens Plus. Inflects minus 5 speed and defense on foes within 2 spaces. Just like the Rain Sea skills, these debuffs can affect your allies' fights. Maybe use this on a Lance Flying Dancer, such as Bridal Lorem. Run a Rain Sea skill and the 1 Rain Sacred Seal for triple Rain debuffs. Next we have Tsubaki, at 4 stars you can get Swap and Resistance plus 3, at 5 stars you can get Quicker Post 3, you know 6.5 years later I'm still no 4 star you know Quicker Post 3, rather we literally got a Bold Freighter Sacred Seal first. As for his weapon, Sapphire Lance Plus, this simply grants Triangle Depth 3, you cannot stack it with the A skill. Next we got Soleil, at 4 stars you can get Drive Res 2 and Blazing Wind. If you're new to the Air of Effects special game, Blazing Wind is the best general option since it just hits in a very simple cross pattern. It is on a bunch of heroic rail units as well though. At 5 stars you can get Darting Blow 3 and Slay has the Bar Sweep Sword Plus. Unit and foe cannot counterattack. simple and annoying. Last up for today is Tatiana. At 4 stars you can get Art and Sacrifice and Swift Dance 2. At 5 stars you can get Attack Opening 3 or the Blue Rabbit Tone. During first combat in either phase, grants plus 5 attack and res, and heals 7 HP after combat. Okay inheritable, nothing that crazy. That will be it for this month's Ephemera Common Manuals. Be sure to use up last month's Ephemera 7 Divine Codes, otherwise they're gone. For this month, I'll be picking up both 5 stars and Effie myself. I don't think I've ever had Dive Bomb, so maybe I'll use that for a fun build. Good luck getting everything you want. That's going to be it for this update. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.